Hey, what is up? What is up? What is up, YouTube? We're headed over to the bins right now. Here's Aaron. We're gonna be attacking that shit. Hopefully, we get some really cool stuff. If you guys do like the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything inside the bins, everything that we have to go through to source your guys' apparel. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun showing you guys everything around our so-called quote-unquote bins. Not really bins. It's more of like a conveyor belt system, but you'll see in a little bit. And we have arrived, my peoples, my peoples, we have arrived, check it out. Whew. Let's see what the hell we get. So here we are, we are inside live here at the trenches. You guys know what's good. All right, so we're getting the new row. Let's get it. As you guys can see, it's getting pushed back. But this is what we have here. We don't really have the per se bins that I was telling you guys. It's like... They fully remodeled this whole place. It's completely different. As you guys can see, it's a full conveyor belt system. I think it's the only one in the nation that I know of. And I mean, it's debatable as far as whether you like it this way or you like it the actual normal bins way. But this is really the system that we have here. As you can see there, that's where they load up all the clothes right in there. Pretty crazy on how much clothes is actually not being bought and it's just getting taken back it's pretty sad actually but I mean it is what it is as you can see the rest of it's just getting pushed back over there All the clothes is actually being pushed back. So all this clothes, it's gonna be taken back. No one's gonna be buying it. And yeah, the clothes gets loaded onto this conveyor belt system from there. It gets pushed all the way to each designated line or row, I guess you can say. So as you guys can see in the conveyor belt, they're actually loading all the clothes up right now. So all that clothes is being pushed, pushed, and eventually it's going to be falling into that line right there the second one not the first one over there because that one just came out but this one right there all the clothes will be pushed into that one and that's how that all works but yeah i mean it's debatable as far as whether you like this way or the old way So, oh, just a quick update for you guys. That row has came out, this row has came out. This row, I already attacked it, Aaron attacked it, he didn't find shit. The only thing I found was this Carhartt hoodie. It's a little up here in the middle, but it's still pretty cool. It's size large, black Carhartt right there. Just really cool. Left it in my car, who knows if I'm gonna buy. I found this Lewis and Clark t-shirt, nothing crazy, but I thought it was pretty nice. The graphic on the back was really cool. Lewis and Clark National Historical Park. Then we got this Duck Masters Duck Unlimited. Pretty cool shirt. Both long sleeves. Check it out. We pulled up to the racks. You guys already know. Didn't find at the bins. Well, I didn't find this. Pulled out with a Carhartt jacket. Literally everybody. Old man noon balances, you know what I mean? Right there, old man swag. Where we at, what else we got? What else we got? Bunch of basura. Shout out to Bull One TRC. You also check it, we got this embroidered Nike Ryan Tannehill jersey, pretty dope. He was on that comeback this year with the Tennessee Titans, I believe it was. 
about as good a start as you could have for Tennessee. Tannehill looks for the home run ball. Separation. Khalif Raymond hauls it in. Touchdown, Titans. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, even though Derrick Henry did most of the work, and we all know that, Ryan Tannehill was still on the team. And he didn't do too bad last year. So shout out to him. What is this, man? Number nine? I don't even know what this is. Let's be looking like some wannabe freaking Spider-Man. Man, these Goodwills, they be having some random stuff sometimes, man. Y'all remember this? That Where's Waldo? What's up? This would be such a sick shirt if it was an old shirt, but of course it's a new one. But let's see if we can find them real quick here. Let's see. And I found them. It's right there. Where's Waldo? Found him. I've checked all of these racks. I've checked everything. We got right here, first and foremost, Antonio Brown, hoping you get out of trouble, mess and get back on the field. We got here, Jonathan Stewart, Carolina Panthers, pretty dope jersey. We got this guy, Doomerville, for the Broncos. I don't know much about him, but I mean, cool jersey. And then, of course, we got that same Ryan Tannehill jersey I just showed you guys. But not going to pick any of these up. I mean, they're all embroidered, and as you can see, I'm pretty sure they're authentic, but Goodwill's taxing on them, so not going to pick any of them up. But yeah worth mentioning to you guys y'all i am walking out of here empty-handed thus far because i am not finding sh not finding a damn thing what about you Aaron? found anything she's looking it? like some straight western wear type honestly see the brand it's made in thailand they're all thighs on my thighs and then you blow up you know you've been liking them thighs huh you liking that d it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up all right youtube so it looks like this is coming to an end we didn't find in this goodwill let alone the bins i mean we only found a little bit at the bins nothing too crazy Jaeger bombs. I'm more of a tequila guy myself, if you know what I mean. Shout out Patron Silver. Nothing, 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 nothing. Thing I am walking out with is this shit. Nothing crazy. Santana, Mariah Carey, Steve Wonder, New York Giants jacket, Huskies crew night. Sick. That's on a Almunita. That's what it's Bam. Alright guys, so we looked through everything. Absolutely everything. And the only thing this fool has found is a Joe Dilly. I don't even know who that is. A little back print too. It's on an all sport. It is single stitch. And it is four bucks. Yo, what is up YouTube? It feels so good making videos for you guys again. It's been such a long time. Shout out to Aaron. He let me live on his couch for about two to three months just because I needed a place to stay. But as you guys can see, I'm finally here, finally locked in, finally gonna be making a whole bunch of content for you guys. When I made this video, it was before the coronavirus. I just decided, I was like, man, why well, didn't find anything really good? So I kind of came to conclusion that, you know what, I'm just gonna have to move on and show you guys other cool stuff that I own. I'm gonna show you guys a whole bunch of cool merch that I bought throughout the years of going to concerts. I've been going to concerts since like late 2015 and this is just some of the merch that I have. Starting with, I just want to give a huge shout out to Florida Flipper. He got me this shirt, really freaking sick shirt. No bystanders, tie-dye, Travis Scott, Astro World merch. In the back, it does have all the freaking uh, tour dates. Really, really thankful. And I also ordered a shirt that I want to show you guys. This is a personal grail. I'm not going to be selling it anytime soon. So let's start off with that. All right. So we got this right here. Damn, I already opened it. I'm not even going to front. But <laughs> I wanted to not even put it into my closet until I showed you guys. I was just so excited when I got this thing. Come on, man. You can't go wrong. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yes. $19.99. It is a double stitch, but I mean, professional hardcore wrestler. 
Look at the tag on that. It's a one size fits all. Uh, WWF. I don't have any wrestling shirts in my grill collection, so I was like, man, I really gotta get one. So let's start off with this. Okay, so I got this Travis Scott Birds in the Trap Windbreaker back in 2017, I believe I attended that concert. Really sick windbreaker. It's a size large. It's a little bit dirty, but it just could use a nice wash. It's been sitting in my closet for a while, so it probably collected some dust. You got this right here. Everything is upside down because obviously it's like in a bird's eye view, but but really, really sick one breaker. And then up next, we do got the St. Pablo merch right here. I did attend the uh, Life of Pablo tour. That shit was really cool. Really, really good experience. I'm not gonna be selling any of these shirts, unfortunately, just because like they mean more sentimentally to me rather than just getting the quick buck. It does remind me of the concert, you know? But it does have Kim Kardashian in the back right there. And I forgot who that is. I think it's another Kardashian sister. I'm not 100% sure, but really, really dope shirt. Love it. Kid Cudi, we got the Passion Pain and Demon Slaying tour, 2017. Kid Cudi in the back. And then you got Passion Pain and Demon Slaying right there. Really cool. That was a really, really fun concert. The experience was amazing. So I picked this personal grill up just recently, actually. It's a 1997, the king of all multimedia. Really, really sick Apple shirt. You got the big old Apple here in the tri-colored rainbow colorway. I love it. Yeah, as you can see, it is on a Cotton Deluxe tag. Really dope. And it fits your boy like a glove. It's one thing to have a really cool vintage shirt. It's another thing for it to fit you good. You know, the fit is what really, really is important to me personally. Up next, we do got another Kid Cudi, Passion Pain and Demon Slaying. Passion Pain, Demon Slaying right there. And then on the back, you got this print of like a house in the woods. Really cool. And then you got the Kid Cudi, Passion Pain and Demon Slaying. A little print right there. This is also on a champion. Really cool shirt. Of course, another Kid Cudi, Passion Pain and Demon Slaying. Another one. Kid Cudi is obviously one of my favorite artists, man. Like I said, this is another Kid Cudi tour shirt. Um, you got like woods here in the back. You got a Kid Cudi print right there. Really sick shirt. Yeah, Mr. Rager. And then it says Virgil Abloh right there, size large. Really cool shirt. This is the only shirt out of all the prints that actually mentioned Virgil on it. And then we got another Kid Cudi, Passion Pain and Demon Slaying tour shirt. I really like the print on this one in the back. It's almost like a zebra, but like a purple and black colorway. I really like it a lot. Passion Pain and Demon Slaying, but just really, really cool shirt. Love it. I don't like it. I love it. I am loving. Last but definitely not least, you got the Kanye West, I feel like Kobe t-shirt. Man, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, NBA legend. Rest in peace to him, man. Uh, not much more to say. Rest, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, rest in peace to Gianna, rest in peace to the other individuals that lost their families. It's one of the most, you know, heartbreaking things that could have ever happened in 2020. This whole year has been just something that no one has really, you know, thought or perceived what, what was gonna happen happened. You know, it, it's sad. We lost the, we lost amazing lives, you know? And, and then just not just Kobe really, it was just all those people that were on that plane. But this one's definitely gonna be staying in the collection as well. I'm not selling any of these shirts. I don't plan to. These shirts have more sentimental value to me than they do really just getting the money. That's why I'm not gonna be selling them. So. Concluding all those shirts, I do have one more thing to tell you guys. And I'm gonna be doing this because, you know, it makes sense and obviously I said I would do it, but I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and this is a YouTube only giveaway, okay? So this is only for my YouTube family, my YouTube supporters. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm gonna be giving away this shirt. Man, I love this shirt so much too. The all over print lone wolf t-shirt. I'm gonna be giving it away. The way you're gonna be able to win this is you have to comment on this video. You have to comment either your IG or your Twitter so I can contact you and ask how I'm gonna be able to ship this out to you. You gotta like the video, you gotta be subscribed to us. And um, last but not least, it's USA residents only. And the reason why is just because I, don't, I really don't wanna deal with any of that international shipping stuff. So just make sure you guys are US resident only. I'm gonna be giving this away. It is a single stitch. It says Jackson here on the side. It's an all over print here on the back as well. Freaking love it. It's on a Delta tag. Really sick shirt. I found this on my trip to the thrift number. Man, I don't even remember. I think it was trip to the thrift 
it was semi-recent eight eight or nine but but yeah guys that will conclude everything thank you guys so much for the support i just recently got a gopro as well so as soon as these trenches open as soon as the thrifts open i'm gonna be throwing out more content but this is gonna conclude this video thank you guys so much for everything thank you thank you thank you and i'm out later <laughs>